642, the dancing has begun and the stretching has begun for me. There we go, we'll just kind of stretch things out. Uh, here we go with the geeks in the house, and that's Ian Kitajima, Bert Lam. We are talking about a couple of things here. We're going to start with cryptocurrency this morning. Well, so this company called Binance, and they're actually one of the, the largest crypto exchange in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, they just announced a cryptocurrency that they're going to be releasing called Venus. And what was interesting about this is that they called Venus a regional version of Facebook's Libra. And Facebook Libra has been kind of in the news because they're getting some scrutiny by the U.S. Congress as well as, well as, well as the EU. But the idea is that these are basically stable coins, unlike Bitcoin, which is kind of a, the stable coins are pegged toward a fiat or a, you know, like the dollar or the yen or gold. Right. So it's more stable. And the idea is that they wanted to do these regional cryptocurrencies so that there could be exchanges in, in sort of de developing countries. So I, th I thought it was an interesting story, especially since Facebook is also interested in doing a cryptocurrency, Libra, and they have this you know, billion user base they can actually distribute it. Okay, so cryptocurrency is still a thing. Oh, it's de definitely a thing. Now, let's talk about Facetune for a couple of moments. Uh, this is <laughs> selfies, right? Yeah, so... Selfies you know, on steroids. So Lacey and Grace and even Steve, they, Steve. Look, they always look amazing. But for those of us who don't look <laughs> so amazing all the time what? when we do like you know, selfies, it's right? a, an app called Facetune. Okay. And there's two versions of it. But Facetune lets you pretty much, you know, if there's a little bit of wrinkle, a little bit of a double chin, you can take away and remove all all of those imperfections. Okay, so in other words, if you're taking a selfie, this is like selfie gland. Ah, oh, yeah, oh. oh, yeah. You can, like, just make yourself look just so super Smooth amazing. Smooth skin. Everything, and, and, yeah, okay. yeah. So Some of us need it Some more of than us others. Need, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more here, Verizon sells Tumblr. Okay, so all the folks that have been involved with the Internet from the early days and right. were into blogging, there was a great platform called Tumblr. Right. And at that point in time, there, you know, and when uh, Yahoo bought Tumblr back when Marissa Meyer, they bought it for $1.1 billion. Oh. Ooh. So, and then Yahoo went through their history. They actually got, you know, kind of merged, acquired by AOL. Then, then uh, Verizon acquired it by acquiring all of, you know, that property. And so, but Verizon, when Verizon got this, Tumblr was pretty much on the bottom, you know, okay. and, but it was still surviving. Now, what? What, what's cool is that Verizon decided they wanted to sell that property, but they wanted to find the right kind of partner. And the cool thing is that the partner that actually bought it is Matt Mullenweg from Automatic, which actually owns WordPress. So now Tumblr okay, so has a gonna... new life with WordPress. And, and it seems like you can throw anything in there from media, multimedia pictures, everything. The other piece can. of that story is that it went from 1.1 billion to 3 million. That's what they bought it for. Okay. <clears throat> we'll watch this uh, coming up on HPR One tonight. We're, by ta Cafe. we're talking about the Mana seconds. Up and we got the uh, cohort number four. Okay, we're gonna dance. We'll have more, we'll put this on later so you can watch it. It's The Geeks here on Sunrise. We'll be back, 646. <laughs> Do that.